Hey guys, it's Nella here. Today I'm gonna be eating these awesome big bacon break sandwiches. Now this one is called the Colonel, which is obviously after the KFC Colonel Burger. It's got chips, it's got chicken, it's got cheese, it's got coleslaw, it's got special sauce, and yeah, it just looks absolutely amazing. And then this one here is called the Clown, and it's made after the McDonald's Big Mac. So it's got two layers of patties, it's got a bit of bread in between, it's got cheese, it's got lettuce, it's got pickles, and it's got the special Big Mac sauce as well. And yeah, they both look absolutely amazing, so I'm so excited, and I hope you guys enjoy the video.
Oh god, these look crazy good. Alright, let's give it a big rip. Oh, that looks absolutely delicious. It smells amazing too. Give it a big try. Mmm. That's so nice. Mmm. Oh my god, there's mashed potato. There's mashed potato and gravy on this as well. I didn't even realize. Mm. This is really good. Okay, <clears throat> let's try this one now. Big, nice big pickle. I love pickles. Oh, I think I broke too many uh, buns with, I mean, too many patties with this one, but we're gonna roll with it anyway. It looks so good. Mmm. It tastes just like a Big Mac. They've even got the cheese right, but it's actually so good. Mmm. I need a napkin. They're both actually amazing. I don't know which one I like more. I really like the sauce on that one, but the chicken on that one is absolutely delicious. And the fact that it's got the cheese and the mashed potato and the gravy, it just makes it perfect. Ooh. Gonna go for another one of this, the chicken. Oh, it looks so good. There's some chip that put on the table. Oh, look at that coleslaw. That is just beautiful. Oops, I'm dropping it down. Now I didn't want to time this challenge because I just wanted to enjoy it and I'm just going to eat these and chat to you guys because I've got some life updates. Um, sorry I haven't been making many videos lately. I've been quite busy with med school. I'm in my fifth year now um, and I'm currently on trauma surgery which is really cool. Before that I was doing GP which is like general practice and I was working at this amazing clinic they were just the nicest people ever and I honestly didn't want to leave but um, yeah, my trauma team is really cool too so yeah I'm enjoying it now which is really nice. I'm going to keep trying to make videos but it just might be like a little bit sporadic depending on what I've got on. I've got one more year left of school after this so I'm almost at the finish line, almost a doctor feels like it's been absolutely forever. I remember when I first told you guys that I was going for med and that I was in pre-med and then I remember the video I made when I got into med and how like excited I was. Um, yeah, it feels like yesterday but it also feels like ages ago as well. And yeah, I just want to say thank you to you guys for like being there the whole time. Especially like the fans I've had from the beginning back. I think in like 2014 when I first started means a lot guys, it really does. You know, I love food, I love being able to do this kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Mmm. God, this is good.
Mm, look at that cheese. Another big update <laughs> is that I don't own Tux and Bao anymore. For you guys who know me quite well, you'll know that I owned the restaurant Tux and Bao. I opened it uh, with my ex-husband. That's another big life story. Um, got divorced, or well, we separated quite a long time ago. Um, but yeah, so that's why I live in a new apartment now. Um, I just let him have the house and the business and everything because I wanted to focus on med school. Um, but yeah, I've been dating this amazing guy for the last about a year and a half now and he's just absolutely perfect. And yeah, no, I couldn't imagine being happier. So yeah, and I don't really talk about this that often on my channel, but like I don't really t talk too much about my personal life or when I do, it's like not very often. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys like an update about what's happening in my life. Um, yeah. I think I've figured out what I want to do for a job. I'm pretty sure that I want to be a general practitioner. Um, I just absolutely loved my experience at the last practice I was at. Big shout out to Prana Family Health down in Mount Roscoe. You guys are amazing. Um, and yeah. Mm. So good. It's like a really big Big Mac. But better because the bread is way tastier and just everything about it is better. It just looks so good and it tastes so good. I'm dropping so much on the ground. I'm going to clean it up later, but it looks so good. There's so many pickles on this thing, which is something I love. I'm absolutely obsessed with pickles. I can eat them from the jar. They're just amazing. Mm. Oh, some more news. I've got an eating contest next weekend now. I thought like my kind of time doing eating contests was over. Um, haven't haven't done one for a very long time. Um, but yeah, this one came up, and my boyfriend kept telling me, "Oh, you should do it. You should do it." And I was like, "No. What if I like mess it up? What if I lose, and embarrass myself?" Um, so I waited for ages to actually sign up. But then last week I was like, "Okay, I either sign up or I don't." And like I've got to decide now because there's only like a couple spots left. So I ended up signing up, so it's a burger eating contest um, at this place called Murder Burger, so that video will be up next week. Wish me luck, because I am very out of practice in terms of like speed eating, um, and quantity as well. I should be able to get through this, but yeah, it is quite terrifying, especially because <clears throat> people around Auckland know me as like, a speed eater and oh yeah if she comes she's gonna win but then if I go and I lose it's gonna be so embarrassing so you yeah. know it's on the first of May so if you live in Auckland come watch me come support me that'd be nice um and if you don't well wish me luck over the internet that'd be nice too but it didn't have any chicken in it so it wasn't as good but it'll taste you mm. So messy. <laughs> Dude, my hands are absolutely just like covered.
it's so good <clears throat> how easy that these like break apart it's like little sandwiches that's their name bacon break so you'd think they would but yeah still amazed how they can like place all the stuff really easily so it just breaks apart mm. Another thing is, if you guys want to support me, I've got my channel memberships up. It mean a lot to me. Um, obviously, you don't have to, but if you do, a lot of my current members have me on Snapchat or on Facebook, and we chat, which is really nice. It's cool to get to know you guys. Um, and it just helps me like make videos and just you know live as well, which is really good. Um, Especially now that I've given up my restaurant and basically everything I had, but um, yeah, no, I'm doing, I'm doing really well. I'm doing so much better, way better mentally. Um, if you guys watched my video, just I think it was like over just over a year ago, um, during the lockdown, um, I was just absolutely distraught, cried, cried on camera, um, and yeah, no, my my life has changed quite a lot since then, and I feel so much better about my future now. Um, Next couple of years are going to be a bit of a struggle just because I'm back to just being a student. Um, but yeah, I know that my future is going to be so much better and I'm just so much less stressed now as well, which is really good. Mm. Oh, another thing is I got my uh, my COVID shot yesterday, which was quite cool. Um, it was it wasn't it wasn't painful or anything, probably nothing. And then like a few hours later, my arm started hurting, and then I got a fever and um, well, yeah, I felt really really tired, but I didn't get a headache or anything, which was quite good. Well, if you haven't got your shot, go and do it. Um, yeah. Feel fine today though, which is good. Um, apparently, if you have like a reaction, it just means your immune system is good. So my immune system must be good because I reacted. You know, I'm just gonna tell myself that. <laughs> but yeah, you haven't got your shot. Go get it. It's very important. I'm pretty lucky in New Zealand because it's kind of like normal for us now. Um, we've had like a few scares like a few border workers and stuff but we've just um opened up the Tras Tasman bubble so now we can go back and forth between Australia and New Zealand which honestly I think they should have held off like a little bit longer until more people oh, oh. Uh, so we only a little bit spilt um yeah, I think they should have waited a little bit until like, more people had their vaccinations because only um, people who work on the border, their families, and then like medical professionals have gotten there so far. And that's why I got mine yesterday in the hospital. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed the world will go back to normal sometime soon. Um, leave a comment down below and tell me what it's like where you're from because I'd be quite curious to know. I've got a few friends in the UK and a few friends in America, <clears throat> but it's kind of gotten to the point where they don't really talk about it anymore. I think because it's been so like normalised for them. But, yeah, I'm incredibly grateful that I live in New Zealand because, like, even the few months that we did have to have like have a lockdown, now it's basically gone back to normal. We still have social distancing and um, sometimes wearing masks depending on what's happened recently. Like, if there's like a small kind of breach in the system but it's actually been pretty good there hasn't been many it was funny while i was on gp actually um there was like a case that had been to the dairy across the road from the gp which i'd gone to at the exact time that they had been there and i was like oh shit oh shit and then i got sick but luckily it was just like a, a flu type thing that turned into like a sinus infection wasn't 
But yeah. It's pretty frightening. I was like, oh no, it's like it's been so long and now finally like hmm. So it's bad luck going the exact same time as him. Mmm. Get a little bit full, but I'm gonna push through. So it tastes so good. If you guys have any ideas about like what you want me to film next in terms of videos, you know, give me a shout out. I always appreciate you guys' suggestions. What are a couple of videos I want to film. I got like some, um, you know those spicy Korean noodles? I got the three times hot ones this time, which I haven't tried yet. I've only tried the one times and the two times hot. And the two times hot absolutely killed me. Um, I think the one times hot killed me as well when I did five packets. I just did one was okay but the five packets it just like builds up on you so yeah leave a comment down below should I do one packet of the three times hot or should I do all five because if I do all five I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it but it would probably be funny to see me try so yeah leave a comment down below and tell me what you reckon I should do I'll probably film that video next week I reckon hmm I'm gonna need to clean this table so well after this. <laughs> it's so dirty. So worth it though. I'm so out of practice at the moment. I'm gonna push through and complete it though.
nearing the end. This chicken was like really good quality. And it's crazy how similar it tastes to KFC. Like both of these um, bakes were so similar to the burgers. Except obviously this one with the added mashed potato and gravy, which actually makes it better. And sometimes I actually do that to my burgers when I get them from KFC. Mm. drink coke with challenges but it just tastes so good I reckon coke especially coke zero or coke no sugar complements like junk food really well oh man so close so close Sorry about that, camera just died. I was worried about it doing that. You have to like, depending on how much footage I already have on my camera, it's like after 15 or 20 minutes, it just dies. Um, I only died at the very end, not in the beginning or the middle. I hate when it dies right in the middle of the challenge. I just got like sticky stuff all over my camera, turning it back on, but it can be cleaned. Hmm. Last piece. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm. <clears throat> it's like the wrong top to wear. And my stomach is like. You guys can see. Nine months pregnant with a food baby. Ugh, okay. Let me in my mouth. I, d oh, I did have a lot on my mouth. <laughs> mm. Alright, so that was two massive bacon breaks. One was KFC and one was McDonald's inspired. They were both absolutely delicious. I think if I had to re-eat one of them, it would probably be the McDonald's one, actually. Um, I did like both of them quite a lot, but just the sauce on the McDonald's one was just really, really addicting. It's that kind of like, do they put crack in it or, you know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you like my videos, to subscribe. And please click like, because it does help me with the algorithm. Um, <clears throat> and yeah. Love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support over the years. It really means the world to me. And yeah, I just feel so lucky. All the opportunities that I've got through this channel have just been amazing. I've gotten to travel so many places. I've got to meet so many amazing people, competitive eaters and fans. And just, yeah, it's just been great. And yeah, just thanks guys. Love you all and see you later.